Go and preach the kingdom of God. Go forth and preach the word. The kingdom of God is our own farm. It is our city. It is our house. It is our family. It is the kingdom of God for which you had all been called to come and preach. There is nothing greater than your participating in spreading this word, these glad tidings, in towns and cities, streets, in corners and indeed all over the world. If you travel out of Nigeria, to a different country, you will find the inhabitants there following you, as flies following decayed matter. They will plead and prostrate on the ground, asking for prayers. When the apostles and evangelists went on ministry to Guinea and Liberia, at the time of departure, the inhabitants of those countries wept. At what time can you sleep as long as people continue to run after you? Of what use is a husband to you? Of what use is a wife to you? You were called for the sake of the word of God, that you should bear eloquent testimony of it. A man cannot serve God and mammon. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. Imagine all the Christ servants. They have all got dwelling places. The Christ students have all got dwelling places. The spirited children and indeed everybody, have got dwelling places. How then can you be a missionary? How is it possible, for you to do the work of God? When you are sought for, a person will be directed to your house. And when the person comes, he will find you in an easy chair under a fed, listening to your radio. That is, why it is said, if you love a person, you will enslave yourself to him. On my part, I only enslave myself to God. That is why our Lord Jesus Christ asked Peter, Do you love me more than anything else? And Peter replied, Lord, thou knowest that I love you. John chapter 21 verses 15 to 17. If Peter had lusted after money, if he had a house to himself, or a town, he would not have been able to do the work of God, and the world would have perished. The good work of Barry Mitchell's lesser. A part-time missionary is quite a different case, but I am only speaking of a full-time missionary. Take Mary Slasser for example. Her grave is in Caliber. She left her country far away in Scotland to come to this part of the world, where she was bitten by mosquitoes. She suffered and told hardships. She forsook everything and went as far as Dwakoyan. The woman worked and died here, and was buried in Nigeria. When Europeans come to Nigeria they usually visit her grave. All those who are the children of God are in effect not born in their countries or towns. Even if they are born there, they will not live there. They will be taken to different countries so they can't serve the Father. All those who have countries, communities, and streets, brothers, and sisters are people of the world. The disciples were able to do their work, because they emulated their master. A servant of the Lord has neither a dwelling place, nor a country, nor a street, nor a relation. One simply surrenders oneself to God and continues to serve God. His or her duty is to travel everywhere. One will eat, wherever one goes to, be it at the market, or at any other place. Our Lord Jesus Christ was like a missionary. Walk with Christ and you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Such are the sorts of people, who really serve God. Right now, how many such persons have we? Tell me, how you can be a disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is said, he that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Matthew chapter 12 verse 30. Ask yourself the question, are you with our Lord Jesus Christ? Are you gathering with him or are you scattering abroad? A great many of you think, if you had lived at the time of our Lord Jesus Christ, you would have walked with him. Is it too late now to walk with him? Those who have gone to Jerusalem are here with us. Did they see any house which was the property of our Lord Jesus Christ? Did they see any house belonging to Paul? They had no house. You are unable to do the work of God because of your own property. Do not lay treasures for yourself on earth. No matter how you may preach, the things of this earth have actually weighed down on you. You are laying unto yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But it is said, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Matthew chapter 6 verse 20. Because the treasures on earth are but a loss unto you. The children of God have no countries of their own. Their streets cannot be found here. Their glories are not found in houses and cars, but in the word of God. If you forsake all the things of the earth, you will no longer have problems. Your duty will be to go about doing the work of God. 
as a child of God, you should have gone to India, Russia, America, Europe, and other parts of the world. A great many people, when they see you have resolved to serve God, will conclude you are demanded, and ask, why you should not remain at home. You have a house, chairs, but people continue to say, you are not easily found at home. That is even the case of a part-time missionary. Consider the case of a full-time missionary. The 144,000 virgins. The 144,000 whom you have been told neither marry. Mark chapter 12 verse 25, Luke chapter 20 verse 35, Revelations chapter 7 verse 4, nor are given in marriage, are those who have been redeemed out of the earth, and therefore have no concern with the affairs of the country. They have neither countries, nor communities, nor streets, nor relations. They have denied all the things of the world. They are those who follow our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever he goes. What means of transport does the leader use? You give thanks to God for bringing these good tidings to the black world, but how many of you have denied the things of the world to follow our Lord Jesus Christ, out of the thousands and millions of people? Brethren, you can realize, you can't stay here for hundred years, so long, as you are not ready to deny the things of this world, is fruitless, as you will not be able to follow him. Let us pray fervently, because the children of God should have no dealings with the things of this earth, for they have neither places of abode, nor streets, nor relatives but their whole life is committed to the work of God. Where do you think I normally stay, when I go to Lagos, or United States of America, or India or any other place? In all my travels, whose airplane or motor car have I been traveling in, and who is the driver I normally go with? Besides, in whose house have I been lodging? When I come to your different homes, where do you usually prepare the bed for me to lie in? Have you not been seeing me in homes as well as in your offices, even in your toilets? Unless you disassociate from relations you cannot serve God. Brethren, it is said whatever is bound down here on earth is also bound up in heaven. Matthew chapter 18 verse 18. If I had any house to myself, you would not have been seeing me in your house. You are my house, my country, family, I have no dwelling place. Every person throughout the world sees me. Can you now realize why it is said, if you do not hate your father, mother, streets, communities, and even your life, it is impossible for you to become a disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ, Luke chapter 14 verse 26, and it will amount to waste of energy and time. Let us now speak of the master voice. Let the second lesson be read. Please my children, do not be sorrowful, for I have earlier obtained permission to give you this information. It is just an unavoidable circumstance. We cannot fail to impart this teaching to you. When you begin to ask, why is it that we cannot do the work of God, that is the answer, provided, for you. Second Bible Lesson, Luke chapter 9 verse 58. And Jesus said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. Brethren, those words are spoken by the ruler of heaven and earth. Consider it yourselves, where do you think is the dwelling place of God? We often refer to God as the creator of heaven and earth. Have you ever gone to his house? Does our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, Lord of Lords, and King of Kings, have any house? Follow the footsteps of the Christ. It is said, foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. When you went to Jerusalem, did you find a house belonging to our Lord Jesus Christ? Were you shown any? How can you resemble him? As long as you do not emulate his examples. How can you follow him, as long as you do not walk according to his footsteps? You are always seeking to build a house, by land, and because of that problems arise. As a result of seeking to acquire land, there arises a problem from it. When do you have the time to follow our Lord Jesus Christ? That is the cause of your downfall. No matter what you may preach, as long as you do not follow our Lord Jesus Christ, your preaching will be an unprofitable exercise. That is why our Lord Jesus Christ said, whoever does not hate his father, mother, brother and sister, and even his life, cannot be my disciple. The Father is here, the Son is here and the Holy Spirit is here. But who is prepared to walk with him, wherever he goes? The Father who is here, where is he living? The Son who is amongst us, where to does he live? The Holy Spirit who is now amongst us, where can you find his house? Abide by the truth, 
you who continue to seek for a house, father and mother. God does not dwell in the house built by man, 